Hello dudes, dudettes, duders, and everyone in between, and welcome to How to Do Everything So You Don't Have To. I am your host, Jesse Kester. Today we are going to go over the basics of project structure in DaVinci Resolve. If you are migrating from Adobe Premiere to DaVinci Resolve, this could be the most confusing aspect of that migration. So I want to give you the basics so that you can get back to making fantastic movies. Before we can talk about how DaVinci Resolve is structured, we need to talk about why it's structured the way it is. DaVinci Resolve was built to cater to post-production houses, and when they built it, they assumed that this post house would have a central server room, and then all of the editing computers would plug into that one server. Unfortunately, this is not how most individual editors work. Most of us have a whole bunch of little hard drives with a whole bunch of different projects, and we move them between laptop and desktop and other desktop over there. Adobe Premiere is really good at absorbing this workflow. DaVinci Resolve is not so good at absorbing this workflow, but it is possible. Let's jump into Resolve and take a look at how to do exactly that. For this project, we will be working off of an external drive called Time to Go Mobile, which, if we're being completely honest, was a stupid plot point. Gotham is the most crime-ridden city in the world that their stock exchange did not have a contingency plan in the event that there was a terrorist attack. Makes no sense. Back to the desktop. And on that drive, we've got a project folder with some raw video files in it. What we're going to do is create a project on this computer, move it over to another computer, do some editing, and we'll just go back and forth editing on those two computers so that you can see how the workflow works. Let's crack into Resolve. The first thing we need to do is create a new database for that external drive. And we're going to do that by going to the drive and creating a folder called Resolve and making sure that that is in the root folder, not in our project folder. Now when we go back over to Resolve, we are going to add a project library, and we're going to name it um, time, to, oop, time to Go Mobile. Let's find a location for this. We're going to put that on the Time to Go drive in the Resolve folder. Then strike the Enter key, and we are going to create a new library. That library is created, and what we want to do now is create a new project. And we're going to name this project after the name of the project folder. So there we go. We now have this project, which is based on this folder, but the actual project files are being stored in this Resolve folder. Let's load that footage into the project and do a very, very basic edit. Now, as you're loading footage into Resolve, a neat little trick I've found is that if you drag it into the clip column, it will import the clips. But if you drag your folder into the master column, check it out, it imports the folder entirely. We're going to create a new timeline using selected clip, and we'll name that the same as the project, and this is the A timeline. One thing I want to do with this timeline is change it to um, 4K. So we're going to go over here and switch that to 3840. And the other thing I want to do is have it interpret Blackmagic RAW footage, not flat, but with a uh, different gamma curve. And to do that, we go to File, Project Settings, Camera RAW, Blackmagic RAW, Camera Metadata. We switch that to Project, and we change that from Film to Extended Video. And I like keeping Highlight Recovery and Gamut Compression on. And now the footage is looking like actual footage again. So let's do a quick cut. Oops. Let's do a quick cut. And then we'll move it over to the laptop and we will connect the library that we just created right now. All right, so we've pulled some selects, and now we can switch over to the other computer to do some more editing. To do that, we just save the file, and then we close DaVinci. Next, we eject the hard drive. Now we're going to move from the desktop computer over to the laptop computer. Let's jump right into it. We are now on the laptop computer. The first thing we're going to do is crack open DaVinci Resolve. You can see Time to Go Mobile is up there on the desktop, so we can start editing that project over here. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and the first thing we're going to do is add a project library. Now, instead of creating a project library, we're going to connect one, and we're going to call it Time to Go Mobile. Now we need to find that library information, so we go to our external drive, 
and select the resolve folder and strike the enter key to open it. Then we connect and you'll see that our project is right here waiting for us. Let's crack into that one. We're gonna skip that download for now because we are in the middle of a tutorial, but you will see that the footage is here with the edit as we did it. And if we go to project settings and camera raw, you'll see that the raw footage is being interpreted as we set up over on the desktop. So what we're gonna do is do some edits that are very obvious at a glance. We're gonna move everything up onto different timelines. And then we are going to save the file and quit. We should be able to eject this hard drive and move it over to the desktop. We are back on the desktop. Let's crack into DaVinci Resolve and see if our edits have been retained from the laptop. We're gonna open the file and you will notice that it has retained all of the edits we did on the laptop. When you're done with the project, you're gonna to wanna to archive it. And archiving in DaVinci Resolve is a little bit different from archiving in Adobe Premiere. Let's take a look at that process. When the project is done and dusted, go to File, Project Manager, find the project you want to archive, right-click it, and Export Project Archive. We're going to export this to another external drive, and then we'll migrate it to the laptop. So this is the folder for that archive, and we're gonna click Save. I don't save proxy media, and I don't save render cache, but I do save media files. In fact, you have to save media files. Let's archive it now. All right, the archive is exported, so we're gonna close out of Project Manager, and we are gonna close out of DaVinci Resolve, and let's look at what was just created. So you'll find a folder with uh, the name of the project and DRA, DaVinci Resolve Archive, Inside that folder will be the media files and a project.drp DaVinci Resolve project. Let's eject this drive, plug it into the laptop, and take a look at what we just built. We are back on the laptop and the external drive with the archive is connected. But when we get into Resolve, you'll notice that Time to Go Mobile is not connected. That's because the drive is ejected. But we do have 2022 Mountain, so we're gonna load that up. And what we will do is import a project. So click on import, go to that archive, project.drp, and it should load fairly easily. There it is, but it's still called project. So what we're gonna do is go to that folder, copy the name of it, right click, rename, and call it what it is. Now when we crack this open, all of the media is offline. That is bizarre. So we're gonna select the media, and relink selected clips by finding them in the archive because it's looking for them on time to go mobile but it's not on time to go mobile so we got to reconnect the media and there we go there's our edit with all of the media reconnected i hope this was helpful i know that making that transition from adobe premiere to davinci resolve can be a little bit difficult there is a learning curve and one of the biggest hardest learning curves for me was understanding how these files are structured and how to archive projects of course if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if this video answered your questions consider hitting like and maybe even subscribing if you're feeling ambitious if you want to learn more about who we are go to thyuphoto.com or or you could get back to making fantastic movies right now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.